A veteran Detroit police detective has been demoted over a controversial Facebook rant about the Black Lives Matter movement and the Dallas police shootings. Seven investigator Jim Kurtzner is live downtown to explain what the chief is doing and why some are saying it's not enough. Jim. Yeah, Nate Weekly is still here inside the Detroit Police Department. Some want him gone. Police officers, certainly myself included, were held to a much higher standard. Uh, the public expects us, and uh, when we voice an opinion contrary to uh, the department's mission, the department goals, it's a problem. Nate Weekly posted over the weekend that he's been a Detroit police officer for 17 years, and in response to the Dallas police killings, quote, the only racists here are the pieces of expletive Black Lives Matter terrorists and their supporters. The Detroit police work rules cover social media postings, and it states that speech is restricted so that it does not impair working relationships of the department. I, I will say that we have not had a Ferguson here in Detroit. And, uh, does this help lead to one, perhaps? You know, I, 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 I pray not. Nate Weekly has a personal stake in his emotions. His brother Joseph, while working as a SWAT officer, accidentally shot and killed Ayanna Stanley Jones during a failed raid back in 2010. Joseph was charged and two trials led to deadlock juries. Joseph still faces civil litigation for damages. The remedy for Nate Weekly with his free speech, some say, is simple. He needs to be treated like a cancer. He needs to be cut out and disposed of. Fired? Absolutely. Uh, because we can't afford to have someone who spews such venom of hatred and racism here in Detroit. Now, the chief says Nate Weekly is entitled to due process, and while he is being demoted from detective, his new assignment has not been determined. And this goes both directions. Next hour at 6, what are the ramifications for four citizens who posted over the weekend serious threats against white police officers? Live downtown, Jim Kurtzner, 7 Action News. All right, thank you, Jim.